Do you like using the matrix visual in Power BI Desktop? Especially if you are an Excel fan and you like using pivot tables, using the matrix visual in Power BI is very, very similar and has a lot of really good features. Well, it can also be a bit frustrating though, because it doesn't match up exactly. And there are some features in pivot tables that are not in the matrix visual. Well, I'm Allison Gonzalez. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer here at Pragmatic Works, and I'm so excited to tell you there are some big updates to the matrix visual in the May 2024 Power BI update. So let's go jump into Power BI and take a look. Before we get to the video, I just want to let you know, if you are interested in more in-depth Power BI training, head on over to prag.work slash Allison40, and that's going to give you 40% off an annual subscription to our on-demand learning platform, where you have access to hundreds of different classes. Now onto the video. Now, before we get into Power BI, let's take a look first at pivot tables in Excel. So I have a pivot table up. I have my design ribbon here for that pivot table. And I know that I can go into my report layout and I can show compact forms. Um, I can show in an outline form or a tabular form, right? And the one that I choose, it is going to adjust the organization of where the different elements are at and the different look and feel. I also have blank rows where I can kind of space things out. I have a blank row installed right here and right here in 11 and 20 to kind of space out the sections, right? If I remove them, boom, right next to each other. But adding in those blank rows really lets your data breathe, lets it be spaced out appropriately. Now these are standard pivot table features that have been here and used for years and years. And now we have them in the matrix visual in Power BI. So here on my report, I have a matrix up and I just have a few elements in um, my rows and columns and I'm showing profit here in my values. Now let's look and see how we can modify this and the new changes to the matrix visual. So into my formatting, and this works whether you have on object turned on or not. Right now I have it off, but if you had it on both ways, it will work and you'll have these changes. So first off, you're gonna go into your layout and style presets. Now, the first element, the style, this is standard, right? We had this before where we have our different predefined matrix styles. You can go with essentially like almost like a theme and you can choose it, right? We have that bold header, flashy rows if we wanna make a big change right off the bat, or you could do something like a minimal if you want it more spaced out um, and kind of play around with those options, right? This we had before, this is nothing new. What is new is below it in our layout. So we have three layouts that mimic the pivot table layouts that are available in Excel. We have compact, outline, and tabular. So we see right now it is set to compact. I can see I my first element is the region, it was the first element is a country and then I have the regions. So I have United States open. I can see the different regions inside of there. So when I move that from compact layout to outline, look what we get. Now, of course you can change around all of your colors to display those however you wish, but we can see that now the first heading, right? That larger element is in its own section. If I opened up another group, I would see that same thing, right? So we can now see with that outline view, we have the ability to space that item over. Now there is also another element that is available with the outline as well as the tabular layout and i'll show you on both and that is repeating our row headers well what does that mean if we click the to repeat row headers and turn that on now that row header the united states is repeated over and over and over again so that way we can see that so whether you like the blank space again you can play around with on adjust all of these colors it's more for the data elements that we're really happy we have the ability to play with the other one, aside from outline, is tabular. Now with tabular, we can see where that goes. Now some of the other things that adjust will be your total row placement 
and I can see I can turn um, my repeat rows off for this. We're able to adjust a lot of these different elements to get those placements in in different ways. So I was excited to play around with these, especially um, there's going to be lots of times where I would like this kind of broken out versus moving it to the kind of compact outline where it was before. That was our only option before where the items are all below the same one. There's definitely going to be times where it's going to be great to space that out a bit more. Now, speaking of spacing things out even more, I'm going to move this over to let's go outline. Let's turn those row headers on, take advantage of it, right? Let's go to blank rows. Now we are able to insert blank rows now after our different elements. So that way we're able to kind of space out our data, give it room to breathe, as I like to say. That way we are able to kind of differentiate it. We're not looking at a giant block of text or numbers you're letting your end user's eye rest on the information in a much easier to understand fashion. Now I can also play with my colors, right? So I'm gonna change this to this brighter blue I'm not using to so make it really obvious where that blank row was inserted between each of the different elements. You can see kind of it as everything really into its own section, again, making it easier to read and understand for your end user. So I'm gonna be playing around with these. I'm so excited to incorporate them into my matrix layouts now. If you are using these, if you use Matrix Visual in your Power BI report design, let me know if you've tried this out yet and if you have a favorite, especially if you are a pivot table user in Excel, let me know if you're gonna be using this feature in Power BI. Then also don't forget to like this video and of course subscribe to our channel so you get all of the updates every time we drop a new video here on our channel.